Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at the parallel form 1 for IR filter uh, implementation, all right. Uh, let us continue looking at this uh, with the aid of an example, all right. So, we are looking at parallel form 1. And uh, let us consider the following example, a very simple example, we have uh, h of z equals 1 minus half z inverse divided by 1 minus 7 by 8 z inverse plus 3 by 32 z minus 2 equals 1 minus half z raise to minus 1 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 8 z inverse which is equal to 2 by 5 1 minus remember you have to split it into the partial fraction expansion. So, this is basically the partial fraction expansion plus 3 by 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 8 z inverse. Okay. So, this is the partial fraction. So, these are the factors in the partial fraction expansion and you can see each of these is a first order fraction first order factor in the partial fraction expansion all right and now we are going to uh, illustrate the pf1 that is the, pa the parallel form 1 uh, structure for this ir filter okay and therefore it's very simple now you can see it has two factors so you'll have two branches so this will have two branches the top branch will be corresponding to the first factor that will be 2 by 5 by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse. So, that will have a gain that is 2 by 5 and uh, then z inverse Three by four. Okay, and uh, this is the first factor. Okay, and the other one is naturally going to be. This is the bottom branch. Three by five, and uh, this is the delay z inverse, and this is the gain one over eight. Okay, and uh, therefore now what we have is we have. to add the outputs of both the branches. So, we have an adder and the output will be y of n. Okay. So, this is basically your parallel form 1. Okay. So, this is the parallel form 1. Okay. So, this is a parallel form 1 structure for the IAR filter. So, this is 3 by 4, right. And uh, similarly, now you have the parallel form 2, 
another structure is a parallel form 2 where given a transfer function, a rational function in z, you use a partial fraction expansion in z. In parallel form 1, you use a partial fraction expansion in z inverse, in this you use a partial fraction expansion in z. Okay? So, this is your parallel form 2. And in parallel form 2, you have Hz equals Pz over Dz. This is the partial fraction expansion and perform on this. So, you perform partial fraction expansion. P of expansion P of expansion in Z uh, for parallel form two. And uh, therefore, the H Z the transfer function can be represented as H Z equals delta 0 plus you have the first order fraction of factor delta 1 1 z inverse by 1 minus alpha 1 1 z inverse plus a typical second order factor of the form uh, delta 1 2 z inverse plus delta 2 2 z minus 2 by 1 plus alpha 1 2 z inverse plus alpha 2 2 z minus z raise to minus 2. And uh, the parallel form 2 structure is given as follows again the general structure. So, this can be given as follows. So, you have your x n and uh, you have the top branch which is simply the gain once again that is your factor delta naught. Then you have a middle branch that is the delay z inverse and then you have your term minus alpha 1 1. this is minus alpha 1 1 and uh, uh, here you have the gain delta 1 1. Okay? Okay, because it is delta 1 1 in z into z inverse that is the factor. Okay? So, this is this and then you have another of the form there is another delay this is a second order fact factor. So, you have two delays and then you have this delta 1 2, then you have the term minus alpha 1 2 and uh, another adder here and the output and uh, therefore, here you have another minus alpha 2 2 and uh, delta 1 2 and this is delta 2 2 
and uh, this is basically then now you can see all these three outputs can be combined can be added together to yield the final output. Okay. So, this is the second order factor and if you combine them, if you add them, so this is the top gain is delta naught, then you have the first order factor z inverse minus alpha 1 and delta 1 1 gain, then you have the second order factor uh, that will be z inverse and uh, z inverse minus alpha 1 2 delta 1 2 minus alpha 2 2 delta 2 2 all right and uh, well that is the that is the net parallel form so this is your parallel form 2 And now, let us do a simple example to understand this better. Once again, let us consider the same transfer function h z that we have been considering, but now do partial fraction expansion in z, all right, and that gives us the and the resulting factors, all right, gives us the partial fraction, uh, the parallel form 2 structure. Okay, so, let us go back to our example, the p of 2 example. and uh, you have your h z one minus half z inverse by one minus seven by eight c inverse plus three by thirty two z minus two equals z square minus half z divided by z square minus 7 by 8 z plus 3 by 32. Uh, remember, because we have to do partial fraction expansion in z. So, now I can simplify this as z square minus 7 by 8 z plus 3 by 32 plus 3 by 8 z minus 3 by 32 divided by z square minus 7 by 8 z plus 3 by 32, which is equal to 1 plus 3 by 8 z minus 3 by 32 divided by z minus 3 by 4 into z minus uh, 1 by 8. Okay. And now, let us expand this into partial fractions. You can quickly do this. Let us say this is equal to 1 over z minus 3 by a over z minus 3 by 4 plus b over z minus 1 by 8 you can see that the coefficient of z a plus b equals 1 further coefficient of z or negative coefficient of uh, the constant 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 a plus 3 by 4 must be equal to so minus 1 by 8 a minus 3 by 4 b must be equal to a minus 3 by 32, which implies 1 by 8 a plus 3 by 4 b must be equal to 3 by 32. And solving this yields a equals, well, 3 by 10 b equals 3 by 40, which implies that now h z equals uh, 1 plus 3 by 10 by z minus 3 by 4 plus uh, 3 by 40 
divided by z minus 1 by divided by z minus 1 by 8. Okay. And now finally, multiplying numerator and divided by de, uh, denominator by z inverse yields 1 plus 3 by 10 z inverse divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 3 by 40 divided by 1 minus 1 by 8 z inverse okay and uh, 3 by 40 z inverse okay and this is the partial fraction expansion in terms of z okay and then we are con converting it into z inverse uh, because remember we can implement only delays all right so now we can implement this pf2 the parallel filter to uh, the parallel form two realization and that is given as follows very simple. So, I have x n the constant gain is 1. So, this top branch is 1, this is well this is z inverse. 3 by 4 and uh, the gain related to this is uh, 3 by 10 and uh, the final branch z inverse and uh, there is a gain of 1 by 8 and there is a gain of 3 by 40. this will be added, all these branches are added and then you get the output y of n. So, you have x n, uh, the top branch is 1, then you have z inverse again 3 by 4, 3 by 10 plus the bottom branch which is 1 by 8 and the gain is 3 by 40 and all these are added and this is your parallel form. All right. Uh, so, basically what we have done is uh, we have seen we have seen several structures for IR filter implementation starting from the direct form, direct form 1, direct form, uh, direct form 2, direct form 1 transpose, uh, direct form uh, 2 transpose that is transpose of both the direct forms and uh, finally, the cascade form and also the parallel form 1 and the parallel form 2 all right so these are the several forms for ir filters correct so you have the several different forms as i had outlined before and uh, that is your direct form 1 the direct form 2 the transpose of each of these direct forms and the cascade form and the parallel forms 1 and 2 all right and each of them results in a certain number of adders and delays and you can check that from the examples as well as the structures that we have illustrated. All right. Uh, so, we will stop here and we will continue in the subsequent models. Thank you.